Hello, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing well. My name is Sayyida Fatma Rizvi and I bring for you people the very interesting and informative videos of physics. Today our topic is about another interesting topic which is about electrostatic induction. Now electrostatic means uh, static means that something is static which is not moving the thing which is at rest. Here electrostatic induction in this case we have to study about the working of the charge how the charges are induced injected from one charge body to another charge body. So the electrostatic is another uh, electrostatic induction is an, an interesting topic. So we would have to study the details about it. So let's start. First of all, we will discuss about the electrostatic induction, the definition of electrostatic induction and the presence of charge body and insulated conductor develop positive charge at one end and negative charge and the other end this process is called the electrostatic induction. So for example, if we have the insulated body, okay, or if we do bring a charged body towards that insulated body, so the insulated uh, body or insulated conductor develop positive charges at one end and the negative charge at the other end. So for example, the insulated body is neutral, all right. So when we develop the, uh, when we uh, take a charge body towards that insulated conductor, so the charges get aligned, the positive charges get aligned on one end of the conductor and the negative charges get aligned on the other end of the conductor. So this whole process is known as the electrostatic induction. It means the charges are aligned in the presence of the uh, charge body. So the charges, <laughs> Uh, this process is known as the induction or the charges are induced in the uh, insulated conductor, right? So this is very simple uh, definition. Let us consider the experiment. Consider a metallic sphere placed on the insulated stand, okay? We have uh, taken the ins uh, metallic sphere which is placed on the insulated stand. The sphere is neutral as it carries equal number of positive and negative charges. Alright, so the sphere is neutral as we have uh, seen in the definition that uh, the insulated conductor or insulated bodies are always neutral unless or until a charge uh, body is placed towards that insulated body and the charges get aligned. For example, if the negatively charged body is bring towards uh, the insulated conductor, so the negative charges get aligned on one end of the conductor and the positive charges get aligned on the other end of the conductor, so the body become uh, and so, uh, so the electrostatic induction is developed. This whole process is known as the electrostatic induction. So we have uh, considered an experiment where we have seen that the metallics, the sphere is placed on the insulated uh, stand and the sphere is neutral. Why? Because it carries an equal number of positive and negative charges. Now bring the negatively charged rod, rod near the conducting sphere. Left part of the sphere that is close to the rod become positively charged, while the right hand, uh, right part that is away from the rod become negatively charged. So uh, what we do is we uh, bring the negatively charged rod uh, near the conducting sphere. All right. So the left part of the sphere that is close to the rod become positively charged. Why? Because uh, a negatively charged rubber rod attract the um, opposite opposite charge right so what is the opposite of negative negative uh, opposite of negative is positive so the left uh, part of this sphere that is close to the rod become positively charged while the right part that is away from the rod become negatively charged so uh, sphere charges get aligned all right the positive charge become close towards the uh, negatively charged rub rod and get aligned towards the negatively charged rub rod and uh, uh, while towards the right part uh, negatively negative charge get aligned all right so a negative charge in the rod repels the negative charge of the sphere and shift it uh, to the opposite region of the sphere that is away from the rod. So, 
so the negative charge of the rod repels obviously uh, like charges repel each other as we have studied in the in case of the rules of physics that the opposite charges attract each other while similar charges repel each other so negative charge in the rod repels the negative charge of the sphere and shift it towards the uh, opposite region of the sphere that is away from the rod thus there is an excess of a positive charge in the region close to the rod okay while there is an uh, excess of the negative charge in the region which is away from the rod so closer towards the rod is the excess of the positive charge uh, which is uh, close which is on the sphere the positive charge get aligned uh, towards uh, the rod and while the negative charge uh, get aligned away from the rod but as a whole this affair is still neutral still uh, since no charge has been added or subtracted so just no charge has been added or subtracted the sphere carry equal number of positive and negative charge so sphere as a whole is neutral now if we remove the rod away from the sphere the charge again will spread uniformly on the surface whole surface of the sphere okay so this is the process to uh, induce the charge how we induce the charge by carrying a charge body towards the sphere sphere which is a neutral we have bring the negatively charged rubber rod towards the sphere so as we bring the negatively charged rubber or towards the sphere the positive leads positive particles get aligned towards the um, negative uh, rod and uh, the negative charge of the sphere move away from the rod all right so if we remove the rod from the sphere the charges will spread uniformly on the whole surface of the sphere okay now next process now next step is now or the sphere through conduction wire in the presence of the rod the negative charge will flow through the earth and reach the sphere with a net positive charge <clears throat> now we have removed the rod uh, what we further do is we earth the sphere through conduction wire in the presence of the rod so okay we have uh, still uh, sorry we still have the rod so we earth the uh, sphere through the conduction wire why because earth is a good conductor of uh, earth is a very good conductor so we earth the sphere through the uh, conducting wire in the presence of the rod the negative charge will flow through the earth and leave the sphere with the net positive charge so as we earth the sphere through the conducting wire the negatively charged particle will flow through the earth and leave the sphere and uh, what will be left net positively net positive charges are left on the sphere now if we force break the earth connection then remove the rod from sphere it will get positively charged positive charge permanently okay so for example now the negatively charged particles are permanently removed uh, from the sphere through earth by with the help of conduction wire because the negatively charged particles are absorbed by the earth now what we can do is if we remove the if we break the earth connection okay if we break that conducting wire and then we remove the rod from from sphere it, uh, the sphere will get per positively charged particles permanently okay so the process is known as electrostatic induction in this way the uh, charges are induced in any case of insulated body or we can say in case of uh, insulated conductors so this process is known as the electrostatic induction as you can as you people see in the figure like if uh, the whole experiment and that if we place a negatively charged rubber rod towards the sphere so the positively charged particle get aligned towards the uh, rod and the negatively charged particles move away from the rod of the sphere now if we in the next step we uh, see that uh, through the conduction wires we uh, the negatively charged particles are removed from the sphere 
and the rubber rod are still there. In the next step, we remove the uh, connecting wire and the rubber rod and the positively charged particles are induced permanently on the sphere. So this process is known as electrostatic induction. So I hope that you people enjoy my video. Thanks a lot for my watching my video. Please stay tuned and like, share and subscribe to my channel and spread my videos worldwide. Thank you so much.